Aren't those good looking kids? I mean, seriously, there's not an ugly one in the bunch up there. I know Christ loves everybody. They're all beautiful, but come on. You've seen some baby pictures, haven't you? Little aliens. I want to introduce a salutatorian um, and start by saying this. It's hard to be my kid and come to Grace Prep. I'm twice as hard on my kids because you may automatically think they get a, a heads up. The staff is probably sick of me by now saying, make sure they don't get a heads up. In fact, I had a conversation with Lexi about a month ago when I, after a senior project when the staff was really wanting her to present. And I, before they said that, I said, you realize, Lexi, you can't present at graduation. Because as my daughter, they'll think you just kind of fell into that. We have so many great senior projects. I hope you know that, that there is nothing but fantastic senior projects. But then I thought that was kind of a rotten thing to say, really. And so when they selected her, I was very proud. We're changing things this year because a salutatorian won't speak. Um, because for seven years, I wanted to spotlight the priorities that we have. We love academics. We have a valedictorian. We've never had a chance to get our student of the year to speak. And every year, it's the kind of thing where I think, wow, that's, that honor, that character, that spiritual honor should be something that we really achieve. We just shouldn't shouldn't follow the paradigm of the world. And so Lexi agreed when she was picked for a senior product not to speak as salutatorian. and I thought that was kind of nice. And so I'll be introducing the, the student of the year next. I've never been so proud as when I dropped Lexi off at JFK and she walked in that air for her. And uh, I'm going to imagine you all in your underpants. And uh, Johnny. Uh, I dropped her off, and she went through security, and that was it. She was on a plane by herself on the way to India. I would have never done that. About two hours later, we were getting texts, and she should have taken off, but basically there was a guy that essentially died in the bathroom on the plane, uh, I don't know for sure he was dead, except he was in there for slumped against the bathroom door. They had to take the bathroom door, and they dragged him out after the defrib wouldn't work. So he's, that was not a good start to the trip. My immediate thought was, I shouldn't really be in Williamsport when the plane hasn't taken off yet. It would be bad if that didn't work. But I was very proud of her, and it was a very brave thing to do. And I said, stand here. Um, I think of Dr. Seuss. And he said, big breath, <clears throat> how did it get so late so soon? It's night before it's afternoon. My goodness, how the time has flown. How did it get so late so soon? They grew up so fast, don't they? And I want to tell you that I'm very proud of my daughter for persevering and for being the salutatorian of Grace Prep this year. I want to introduce a student of the year let me explain this, because this is very hard for us, and that is that these students are great. In any other context, every one of them could be that, and I never want the students to think any other way. We really did labor on, over this. I know everybody says that, but this is true. But one of our core values is there are blue ribbons. In a world that's all worried about self-esteem in the younger generation, we have a generation that's never had so much high esteem without doing 
the work that they're supposed to do. In other words, studies show they're happy with themselves even if they fail and don't do their work because they've been taught all that self-esteem. The fact is, when people excel, we honor them. And if everybody gets a blue ribbon, then it's, none of them are valued. And so we kind of take a leap off here, and we want to honor a student, and her name is Abby Helsel. And Abby has, was one of my top recruits of all time, and I lost her, and she went to State High for a month or two, or whatever. And we got her back, and I was so proud. And over these four years, Abby has been an amazing person of character. For all four years, she has led, she has discipled, she has mentored. Abby works, started to um, ballet dance when she was two. And it is like a sport that goes year round. Every day after school, the weekend, she is working on ballet and just got accepted to Ballet Magnificat. She's a sugar plum fairy in all the good roles in the conservatory's uh, dance. She's hosted swing dances. She's helped with a palm. She's, done, she's an excellent, fantastic student. But what we honor is the discipleship, the bringing on of someone else to follow you when you're gone. And she has reached down the lives deeply of people around her. And that is what we honor today. We would love every student here. I hope those weren't your notes. To be someone like Abby Helsel. And so I present to you this year, Student of the Year, Abby Helsel.